sharp eyes, a careful aim. Mongolians honed these attributes in the ancient manly sport of archery. Now they're applying them in a new field, Britain's own manly sport of darts. These members of Mongolia's Amateur Darts Federation are finding success overseas. Erden Mandak and a teammate won a gold in mixed doubles at the Asian Darts Cup this year, the first international title to be claimed by Mongolians. With around 2,000 regular players, the game here has come a long way since Erden first discovered it in the 90s. <laughs> My generation of Mongolian darts players didn't know anyone other than John Lowe, Eric Bristow and Dennis Priestley. At that time, there was no access, no information, no internet. We'd have a video of these three men and we'd sit together to watch it. Now, the whole family is involved in playing darts. Inside my home it's darts and outside the home it's darts. Every member of our family likes to play. Even my wife plays and she helps me develop and promote darts. Darts is very much a family-friendly, unisex sport in Mongolia. Bata Send, twice national women's champion, has been addicted since she tried the game at an open-air market over a decade ago. For me, if I compared this sport to a person, I would say I'm in love with it. I'm devoted to it. Once I was preparing to take part in the 1997 championship, but I couldn't. It was held at the end of the year and I began training so I could participate, but I was about to give birth. I had a huge belly, so I was sent to hospital. But I was really focused on taking part. So through the hospital window, a darts board and some seven centimetre nails were smuggled in. I hung it on the door of my room and I was training until 2 a.m. From ancient times, our people have been practicing archery and ankle bone shooting. They've got very good aim. Maybe this is in our genes or something, our special Mongolian genes. Of course, our dream is to play against English people and beat them. Our dream is to defeat the English. Our dream is to become world champions.